This video demonstrates support for the logical node for monitoring a Goose subscription, or LGOS, or LGOS. It was part of our booth demonstration at the Distributech 2015 conference in San Diego. Please view video number one in this series for an overview of the entire booth demo, and video number two to understand the role of each Triangle Microworks product in the demo. In this demo, we'll be using the IEC 61850 client in the Distributed Test Manager, or DTM, to update a single line diagram created in Insight, the graphical tool available with DTM, the 61850 test suite, IRON, our ICCP TASI 2 test tool, the Communication Protocol Test Harness, our DNP3, Modbus, and IEC 60870-5 test tool, and the SCADA Data Gateway, our Protocol Translator, Data Concentrator, and OPC Driver. We'll also be using the Triangle Microworks IEC 61850 source code library, which is running on two Texas Instruments BeagleBone boards. We'll be demonstrating LGOS, the logical node for monitoring boost subscriptions. As shown in this excerpt from the IEC 61850 specification, the LGOS logical node is used for monitoring Goose messages through an MMS client connection. There is a separate LGOS logical node for each subscription to a Goose publisher, which facilitates diagnosing the subscription state of Goose messages. Let's take a look at the object model for BeagleBone TMWA. To do that, I can scroll through the tree until I find the desired device, then right-click and select Show Model. In this case, I already had the model open in another tab, so I'll just select that. Note that it contains an LGOS logical node for each Goose subscription. Taking a closer look at LGOS 1, the GoCBref.setSourceCB data attribute shows that it monitors a Goose stream published by BeagleBone TMWB. The last stnum.stval is the last state number received in a goose stream in the gocbref.setSourceCB. The goose publisher will increment the state number when any data attribute in the dataset changes. Let's put BeagleBone B in test mode. Now let's trip the breaker in BeagleBone B. As we do, we'll simulate a breaker failure and we'll send the goose message, which increments the value of the last stnum.stval. The st.stval will be true if we've received a goose stream in the gocbref.setSourceCB within the time allowed to live, or TAL, contained in the last message. The LGOS status value can be tied to a display to indicate the status of a goose connection. Let's take a look at the single line diagram again. First, I'll reset all the breakers just to clear up the display. The LGOS status value can be tied to this display to indicate the status of a goose connection. Notice if I hover over the indicator, the pop-up help will show the link to the LGOS data. In this demo, the 61850 client simulation in the distributed test manager monitors the LGOS status and displays it on the single line diagram. The status is normally shown as green. However, if the lgos.st.stval goes false, indicating no goose messages are received before the timeout period expires, the display will turn red. If I unplug the Ethernet cable to TMW BeagleBone B, the goose subscriber, in this case BeagleBone A, will detect that messages are no longer being received from that source and will set the LGOS data attribute for status, st.stval, to false. This value in turn is reported via MMS to the 61850 client, which updates the display, turning the indicator red. Note that the MMS client connection status indicator for BeagleBone TMWB also turns red because this connection was also broken when the Ethernet cable was unplugged. Data for this indicator is provided by the DTM host statistics for the client instead of the IEC 61850 object model received from BeagleBone TMWB. A list of all the statistics available can be viewed by selecting the Host tab, finding the desired device, and selecting Show Statistics from the context menu. The LGOS Logical Node is a useful tool for monitoring the state of a Goose subscription through an MMS client connection to the device. 
This allows the client to ensure that the server is operating with valid and current information by providing awareness so that system failures can be addressed quickly.